emergency planning is something that you can do in your home. It's something that all museums should have and it can be very helpful. So, emergency plan is a whole notebook full of stuff. What is it full of? It's full of numbers that you would contact in an emergency. Poison control, fire brigade, fire brigade, whatever. Um, police department, NAGPRO. And then it goes on to who can help you with your artifacts afterwards. So hopefully Notre Dame has the list of let's contact the Louvre or let's contact people at Versailles or, or we might need a Smithsonian person to come over. Yeah, or, who's an expert in these objects? So that's on the list. What else is in here? It is, what do you save first? What do you get out of your house? Obviously people, in lives, always first. Always. always first. Then you make a list of your artifacts that are the most important and irreplaceable. For Notre Dame, the crown of thorns should have been one of, one of the first few out. I would imagine are was actually religious relics like that would have gotten out first. And then after that, it would have been artwork and statues after that. So, yeah, that would see, I, that's my priority, but their priority is probably way different. Oh yeah, and it's going to be, I mean, they're the ones who are there exactly. every day. So what else is in your plan is specific events. What happens during a tornado? What happens during a fire? What happens if you have an earthquake? But it's also going to be as specific as environmental issues. When I was at Harper's Ferry, there was a railroad that went right through it. And you had to think, what if a train derails but is carrying chemicals? Oh, I didn't even, we don't have that problem. We so don't have, have it. That. Yep. They had a river right there. So, and they've had giant massive floods, like buildings underwater floods. So we had to think of flooding, you know, here we probably think of wildfires. Right. Once or twice a year. Right there. Normally there, there. Windstorms. Windstorms are bad like the other day. I mean, we don't have much outside, but if we did have something... The dust. Oh, the windmill. Yeah. Our windmill used to fall apart in the wind. Just like that. So you have to think specifically in your area what, what you need to plan for. There's information about your facility, so where your fire alarm boxes are. Where your fire extinguishers are placed. Possibly if you have indoor water hosing system, where to hit the button for that to just hit the water and let the water release. This really is a plan. This is not a worksheet. This isn't, oh my gosh, here's an emergency. Let me go get the notebook. You want to study your notebook. You want to know what's in Because you're not going to take the time to go open your notebook and find, wait, I have to find page 57. Here it is. So our plan was actually made by Texas Tech Museum science students. They used dplan.org. It's fill in the blank. Here's the numbers you need to know. Here's some events that can happen. Fill it out. So you don't even have to think of it. You might Very important to look into. Yep. So, emergency plan. Think of it almost as like the last will and testament of the museum. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. It's like See? preppers. Yeah. You're basically prepping. You're just not storing cans of food. I mean, you could be, but that would just be weird.